welcome back to my channel and wanna edit your vlog so fabulous just like this Tune in as Jaime Swag, share personal experience. And welcome back. As you can see, this is the original video that I had created before I add green screen effect. On this video, I will show you or I will teach you how I discover using green screen effect without using downloader application or without downloading the videos. And before we start, I'm gonna turn on my screen recorder. And yes, Screen recording is the key to everything. And of course, after shooting your video or vlog, we'll be going to our video editor to add some green screen effect on it. So I will be choosing one of my videos or vlog that I want to add some green screen effect. So this is the video that I want to add green screen effect. So I'm gonna post right here because this is the part that I desire to add some effects or green screen effects rather. So here, the next step is right after you turned on your screen recorder, go to your YouTube application. And yes, YouTube application where we can search our desired effect. So here, I'm gonna type in the search engine, Fireball Effect. So, Fireball Effect green screen. I'm gonna search for that. And here are the sum of the green screen effect results. So there it is, Fireball. So in this case, I already saved the video that I wanted to use on my vlog by simply liking the videos once you like the video on youtube it will be saved automatically in your library so these are the videos or green screen effect that i wanted to use on my blog just a reminder once you screen record a video from youtube you must rotate or landscape mode your mobile for the youtube screen format and once you're done you can stop your recorder and able to save your phone memory and the next step is trimming. Once you stop your screen recorder, it will be saved automatically in your library. So in this part, we have to polish or trim our videos because when we use our screen recording, there are a lot of unnecessary footage that you will capture. So in this part, we are going to trim or cut those unnecessary part because we are going to save only the specific effect that we'll be needing into our blog. So I'm gonna click edit and this is how it looks when you are using an iPhone. So this is the trimming part. So I will be saving the specific part that I will be needing only in my blog. So there it goes. And once you're done, so once you're done, you should always save as new video clip so you won't lose your original video. So right after cropping or trimming your videos or green screen effect, you can simply go back to your video editor and start editing your video to make it fabulous. Welcome back to my channel. So in this moment, we are ready on the go to start editing our vlog. So let's go. So here is the part I'm gonna stop or post right here because this is the part that I'll be adding some green screen effect on top of it. So I'll be pressing or clicking the layer to add green screen effect. So click that layer and then after you click that layer, you will see the media button. So let us press the media button. 
So once you click the media button, you will be transferred into your library. So in this moment, I will be choosing the specific green screen effect that I will be applying for my blog. So this is how it looks. So there you have it. So we can always change the size of our green screen effect by simply pinching and zooming in. So I'm gonna press the chroma key on the side and then after you press the chroma key you will see an enable button so once you press the enable button the green screen effect will be disappearing and this is how it looks right now so you can always adjust it depends on your desired size and desired place so that's it so on the other side of my video I want to add more green screen effect on it to make it more alive so in this case you have just to repeat the process you just have to click the layer button and then after you click the layer button you will see the media button so you'll be transferred into your library again and you will choose or click the desired green screen effect that you want to apply it into your blog so just repeat the process every time you want to add some green screen effect so just simple as that so here I'm gonna add again a green screen effect another specific green screen effect so I'm gonna add the fireball right now here so this is how it looks so I'm gonna press the chroma key again and enable the chroma key and there you have it the green color will be disappearing so this is how it looks right now yes so I wanted to add more green screen effect on this part where I am screaming so I'm gonna tap the layer button again and the media button so I'll be transferred into my library and I'm gonna choose the specific green screen effect so I'll be choosing this one so I'm gonna adjust this one where I want it to be where I want to place it right here on my mouth so I want it like I'm spitting something so right here, I'm gonna press the chroma key again, enable, and then I'm gonna enlarge my green screen to make it more visible. So like that, there you have it. So let me give you a free view. So here I wanted to add more green screen effect where I am entirely screaming, so this one like that so I'm gonna adjust it through my mouth like I'm spitting something so I'm gonna press the chroma key again so just so just repeat the same process again just like in the beginning so this is how it looks right now so I am going to press the layer button and the media button again and then I'll be back in my library so I'm gonna choose the specific green screen effect so on this part I'm gonna use this kind of green screen effect it's like yes so I'm gonna place it right here so I'm gonna press the chroma key again enable and then I'm gonna make the green screen large and bolder or yes so there you have it this is the free view how it looks right now when I add the other one so yes so I will be adding my one last finale green screen effect where it explode at the end so yes this is the part that I want to explode on my block so I'm gonna place it right again so just the same process or procedure just like in the beginning so just adjust it where you want to place it like this is it it's either portrait horizontal vertical whatever as you like so in this part I'm gonna make it like this so that's the preview how it looks right now so there it is so yes so this is the full finished product right now so if you find this video helpful please give me a thumbs up comment down below and don't forget to subscribe this is Hyman's blog nourishing you from deep within bringing out the best in you